Let's take a look at the 10 species of birds that appeared on the most checklists during the 2013 Great Backyard Bird Count and learn a little more about them. The most reported bird for the ninth year in a row is the Northern Cardinal. The brilliant red plumage of a male Northern Cardinal is the result of pigments found in the Cardinal's natural foods, which include seeds, fruits, and insects. One study found that females prefer brighter males. The deeper color may be a signal that he knows how to find good quality food for himself and potentially for his offspring. The northern cardinal is a year-round resident, but the species range has been expanding northward since the early 1800s, possibly as a result of moderate temperatures and a greater availability of feeders. Northern cardinals are dimorphic, meaning the male and the female look quite different. The female is a soft, tawny shade with orange highlights, just as striking in her own way as the brilliant red male. Coming in at number two is the neat and trim dark-eyed junco. The species has 15 different races or geographic forms. The slate-colored variety shown here is primarily found in the eastern United States and most of Canada. The Oregon junco is found primarily in the western United States and has a dark hood. When males court females, they fan or flick open their wings and tail, hop up and down, and pick up pieces of nest material or moss. The third most often reported species during the 2013 GBBC was the morning dove. Morning doves are very adaptable, and they can be found in all kinds of habitats. Ever since European settlement of North America began, morning dove numbers have increased, and it is now one of the most abundant and widespread birds. When morning doves take off, their wings make a sharp whistling or twittering sound. They usually feed on the ground and store seeds in an enlargement of the esophagus called the crop. The record for number of seeds held in one dove's crop is 17,200. With any luck, a woodpecker or two will make it onto your bird list for the next great backyard bird count. The petite downy woodpecker comes in at number four on our top ten list for the 2013 count. It usually eats insects, but is more than willing to snack on black oil sunflower seeds at feeders. Males and juveniles have a jaunty red patch on the back of their heads, but females do not. The female looks just the same minus the red patch. Downy woodpeckers look just like hairy woodpeckers, except the downy is smaller. Here's a neat trick to help you tell them apart and report the right species to the GBBC. As you're looking at the bird, measure the bird's bill against the width of its head. In the larger hairy woodpecker, those distances are nearly equal. In the smaller downy woodpecker, the length of the bill is shorter than the width of its head. Friendly finches are a staple at many feeders, and our fifth most reported bird is one of them. The house finch, true to its name, is often found near houses. This species was absent east of the Rockies 70 years ago. In the 1940s, house finches were introduced to Long Island, New York. Since then, they have spread across the east. The male can have red to reddish-orange coloring on its head and upper breast, with brown streaking below. House finches are also dimorphic, just like the northern cardinal. The female house finch is a dull gray-brown bird with streaks on her belly. She usually has little or no markings on her head. Purple finches can throw a monkey wrench into your plans, but there are key differences to look for. The male purple finch has much more color, spreading down the neck and onto his back. He does not have any brown streaks on his flanks or underparts. The next three positions on our most reported list for the 2013 GBBC include some old friends, which most people have no trouble identifying. At number six is the darkly handsome American crow. When West Nile virus first appeared in North America in 1999 and spread, crows were hardest hit and their overall numbers dropped. Numbers reported to the GBBC over the past few years show a modest increase, so the species may be recovering somewhat. American crows are very intelligent birds that typically live in extended family groups, and it's been shown that they can recognize different human faces. The bouncy black-capped chickadee is most reported species number seven, one of the most familiar North American birds. Chickadees hide seeds and other food items in thousands of places and can remember most of them. As you listen to the typical chickadee call, 
be aware that more D notes in the Chickadee D call translate into a warning to other Chickadees of danger nearby. The Blue Jay, number eight, is an intelligent bird with a complex social system, a characteristic it shares with crows. Jays and crows belong to the same corvid family. When scientists followed some jays using transmitters, they found the birds were storing 3,000 to 5,000 seeds in a single autumn. The blue jay's fondness for acorns is credited with helping spread oak trees across North America after the last glacial period. At number nine, the American goldfinch. It's the only finch that molts its body feathers twice a year, once in late winter and again in late summer. Both males and females have muted colors during the North American winter. But after the late winter molt, the males put on a coat of brilliant yellow and black feathers, the better to woo a mate. In winter, American goldfinches are sometimes seen in flocks of more than 200. Although some individuals stay put year-round, others migrate long distances. One goldfinch, banded in Ontario, Canada, was found eight months later in Louisiana, more than a thousand miles away. And number 10 on our list is the undeniably cute tufted titmouse. The geographic range of the tufted titmouse has expanded over the past 50 years, probably because of warming temperatures and increased availability of feeders. Young titmice sometimes stay with their parents throughout the winter and may even stay on to help care for their new siblings in spring. Tufted titmice build their nests in cavities, so putting up nest boxes is a good way to attract them to your yard. There you have it, the top 10 species reported on the most checklists during the 2013 Great Backyard Bird Count. Make sure the birds you see are counted during the next GBBC, February 14th through the 17th, 2014. Learn more at birdcount.org.